Welcome, everyone. My name is Raymond Merriman. I'm the president of the International Society for Astrological Research, and we have a very special event for you this evening. With me on this event is Shelley Ackerman, well-known astrologer from New York City and the uh, star of the Wall Street Journal yesterday. Oh, Welcome, I don't know. Shelley. <laughs> Hi. I don't know. And There's Shelley is established. Yeah. Shelley is a rock star. She is. She's yeah, one who yeah, established yeah. the importance of uh, finding uh presidential birth times when she uncovered bill clinton's birth certificate and exact time of birth in 1992 and that got the uh the whole world abuzz with the importance of birth times right shelly well yeah i mean and it also introduced me to lois rodden which you know which was a wonderful thing and and uh yeah yeah okay and this evening we have with us mark penfield He's been an astrologer for over 50 years, currently living in Los Angeles, and Mark has rocked the astrology world in the last week with his revelation of a new birth time for Hillary Rodham Clinton. The time that we've been seeking for so many years as astrologers, and he has he insists that this is a double A Lois Rodden ranked time of birth. So welcome, Mark, to our show today with Shelley and I. Hi there. Hi, yes. Mark. <laughs> Mark, we'd Hi. like to ask you to tell us a story. How did you come upon this birth time for Hillary Rodden Clinton? Why okay. do you think it's double A rated? Well, I first came across it sometime in late 2007. So it's not new, except maybe to other people, but it certainly isn't to me. I wrote about this in the AFA journal. March of 2008, whereby I stated that oh, on the other on the internet there was another time mentioned of 2:16 a.m. Should have been 2:18. I probably misread it. Reportedly from Hillary's cousin, who got the time from her mother. Mm-hmm. This is a more accurate hour and minute to reckon with, and it yields mid Virgo rising. And, and this, this came also, from Hillary's cousin. So I thought at the time. I see. Okay, now, continue. In the AFA Journal of July nine, uh, 2016, there was a statement from a man named Zion Cohen, that on September 13, 2007, he wrote, the birth time that I have is from Cook County Clerk of Court, Vital Records Division. Uh-huh. And the information is born 26 October 1947, 2.18 a.m., Chicago, Illinois, born Hillary Diane Rodham, Edgewater Hospital, which is about nine miles north of downtown Chicago. Okay. And now, once you, you, you discovered that back in 2007, you wrote it, you published it in the AFA Journal in 2008 in yeah. March. But then Almost you went back ago. and re-verified it in the last couple of weeks, if I'm not misunderstanding I, you. I called the records office in Springfield, the state capital, and I asked the gal there to verify this birth time for me. I knew that she could not give me the information verbally over the phone. Right. So we worked out a deal, which a lot of reporters do, whereby if I am wrong, you tell me so. If I'm right, say nothing. So in other so words, if she we, said no, that meant no, that you were wrong. Exactly. If she said nothing, that would mean yes, but she exactly. wouldn't say it. And I started out, was it a PM birth? Answer was no. I presumed AM birth. Then we worked around a couple other times, and I got down to 218, at which point she said nothing. 
I so see. we've well, actually see, we saw that in all the president's men. Woodward and Bernstein yes, used that yes. <laughs> device Which as is, well. <laughs> so Which is a, a the, trick. Yeah. That, uh, reporters use all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, so Mark, here's the thing. As you well know, Hillary's a Scorpio, and yes. you're a Scorpio, and I yes. am Mercury and Scorpio. Um, so, oh. you know, you Hillary. Nice yeah, <laughs> Hillary, honor among thieves. Hillary um, uh, has given out, you know, all kinds of birth times. Yeah. She has given out 8 a.m., 8 p.m. She gives out, uh, now, from friends who, intimates of hers, okay, intimates of hers, who right. go back 40 years or more from the Watergate impeachment hearings. She went to see an astrologer, supposedly, and she then, you know, she wanted to know what to do with herself after the you know hearings were over. She told her closest friends at the time, that she had Leo rising. This also got repeated to um, uh, a chiropractor that she and Bill sees in Martha's Vineyard fairly recently. Arlen Wise, you know, it's in the it's in the source notes in the data bank. So this is what's so confusing. Well, I would tend to agree with you that on the surface and where the planets are in her chart. Right. She could well have Leo rising, but she'd have to be born shortly, 15 minutes or so, after midnight. Uh, up until a little after 1 a.m., and that's, that would be it. Yeah. There's, there's an hour of a window. There's an hour of a window. There's a one-hour window. So, Mark, we've got these different times, and you've given us your explanation of how you came across these times from two independent sources, and you re-verified re it. Yeah. Um, why couldn't it be 8 a.m., which is the most common time used, or 8 p.m., in your opinion? Primarily why those... because it is an assumption that, according to her mother, as written about in the Chicago Sun-Times newspaper, that she was born in time for breakfast. Okay. Well, 2 o'clock in the morning is before breakfast. There is no direct birth time, to my knowledge, that is written in the Chicago Sun-Times in an interview her mother gave that paper several years ago. Right. No one could find that paper, by the way. It, exactly. They no one could find it. it, yeah. Well, the yeah. Chicago Sun-Times, I think they they had a fire where they lost a lot of their records. Well, guess what building is on the site right now of the old Chicago Sun-Times? Trump! <laughs> <laughs> How interesting. Yes. Okay, yes. but back to the subject now. So we have two different sources from your experience that uh, verify, in your opinion, the 2.18 a.m. time, correct? Yep, yep. Okay. Well, Shelley, do you have any other questions to uh, well, give to Well, I, I don't, I don't. But again, you know, it brings up the issue of... Why did she say 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Hillary? Why did she say 8 p.m.? Why did she tell her closest friends? Because uh, yeah. she's a Scorpio <laughs> and she wants to throw people off the track. But here's Ronald what's in. Oh, I agree Ronald with you. Ronald Reagan used yeah. the same tactic for years, yeah. and yet his chart is sitting in the front of Carol Ryder's house. <laughs> Oh, so and here's what we want to do. Here's well, well, what we second. want to do what, as astrologers. I just want to make okay. one, one more point for here. You know, as astrologers, as consulting astrologers, we deal with these issues all the time. We deal with the issue of being attached to a chart, whether it's, it's proven accurate or not, because we've fallen in love with it. But even more important is we may tell a client their whole chart about having Virgo rising and three planets in Leo rising above the horizon, and they could walk out only hearing that part and, and, yeah. and not what we precisely said. Okay. Well, here's what we need to do as astrologers. Do as astrologers, we need to put together a petition, and Shelley, you are the leader on this. We need to make a petition. We're going to have it at ESAR 2016 in Costa Mesa, California, where over 500 astrologers are going to be gathering. And we're going to have two panels on the presidential election. And the one thing that we're missing 
is the exact birth time of Hillary Clinton and Michael Pence. We're going to get the petition going. We're going to get everybody there to sign it and send to their campaign headquarters and plead with them to please help us. We're a, we're a, we're a contingent of several hundred people who cannot perform our art to the best of our ability without an accurate birth time. Can you, will you please help us? We've got yep. the exact birth time of Barack Obama from his birth certificate. And through that process of the birther moment, Donald Trump revealed his birth certificates with the birth time. Hillary Clinton and Michael Pence, would you please do the same thing and share your birth certificate with your birth time so we can perform our art to the best of yep. our ability? But How even beyond that, that, whether they care whether we perform our art to the best of the ability of our ability. Maybe uh, they don't give a damn. Yeah, you know? but historically, when a monarch is born in a kingdom, the, the chart of the baby is there with the accurate time. If, in my opinion, if somebody wants to be the leader of the free world, they force Barack Obama to show his birth certificate. I think it should just be, along with taxes and health report, show the document that that describes I when agree. and where you were born. Amen. That is right. Period. This is a, a cause that we should all get on board for because just it really only adds value don't. to our craft. Yeah, just make certain you don't mail it out under a vorticar moon or when Mercury <laughs> okay. is So everyone, okay. this is the situation now. This is what we're presenting to you, a, a, uh, a, a claimed double A birth time for Hillary Clinton. Do you accept it? Do you not? It's up for you now who are listening to us today to accept this or reject this. Give us your reasons. Let's keep exactly. the discussion going on. Don't kill the messenger. Mark has performed an admirable <laughs> yeah, service to the astrology really. community through his efforts to find this for us. And on behalf of Visar, Shelley and I'd like to invite every one of you to come and join us in, at the uh, Hilton Hotel and Spa in Orange County, where we're going to conduct the ESAR 2016 Symposium on the Power of Forecasting Meets the Consequences of Choice. And we will continue this discussion with Shelley, Mark, myself, 10 other panelists who are experts in forecasting USA elections, world elections, and it's going to be a great time. Please join us. Okay. Shelly, thanks for Look, being with see us. See you very soon next week. Coming up. And Mark, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, everyone. Welcome. We'll see you in two weeks. Bye-bye okay. now. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Bye.